couple of weeks ago, we were lucky enough to go and visit Aerial Motors. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a, a little while now, um, ever since the uh, the Atom was produced. Really, they made a, a really big name for themselves for such a such a small company. Um, but it wasn't the Atom or the Nomad really that I was, I was there to go and see. It was their motorcycle, the Ace. Um, and I fell in love with this thing uh, when I first saw it at Goodwood a couple of years back, the concept bike. And it is so mad and so out there um, that I just thought I need to have a go on it. So I called them up and uh, yeah, being the lovely guys they are, they said why don't you just pop down and come and have a cup of tea and we'll, we'll show you what we do. When we arrived at Aero Motors, it was, it was really funny, it's so quintessentially British for a little British manufacturer. Um, we stepped out the car into this little courtyard, really sunny, um, everyone was on the tea break. So there's like 10 or 15 guys all with mugs of tea, sat there catching a little bit of sun. Um, and I think one of the breaks just stood up and said, oh, who are you looking for, mate? Um, and I turned around and said, oh, I'm looking for for, for Tom Siebert, who um, is Simon Saunders, the founder and owner's son, who's now kind of running things. And he just emerged from a crowd of tea drinkers with a mug. And the first thing he said was, uh, you know, can I make you a brew? And so I said, yes. And, uh, and that was it. We were then just walking around the facility, looking at how things are made, checking out the history, seeing some of the old vintage bikes they've still got on display there. Um, Tom was showing us around rooms that we probably weren't supposed to be looking in. Uh, it's just it's just so cool, just so down to earth and and friendly and small, and just how you really want small batch kind of manufacturers to be. It's just it's just excellent. So the history of Ariel, um, Ariel started 1870 as a bicycle manufacturer and then started putting engines into them. Um, they also carried on putting engines into cars, four-wheeled um, contraptions like the quadricycle which you see here. Um, Ariel concentrates a lot on off-road competition as opposed to a lot of the manufacturers that were racing on Tarmac or the Isle of Man TT. They had a lot of success in off-road competition. Ariel was bought by uh, BSA in the late 1960s. Um, and then really when BSA fizzled out, so did Ariel, until we came along um, with the Atom in 1999, bought the name and then have been going ever since. We wanted the Ariel name um, because it was a manufacturer which made cars and motorcycles, because although we started with the car, we always wanted to make bikes. We've always been bikers. Um, my dad, who designed the cars originally, was a biker. He worked for a motorcycle manufacturer as a designer. Um, I started racing when I was seven. And this is a this is your little room of, of stuff. Yeah, I've, there's all sorts in here. Yeah, I've noticed um, well a couple of things. First one is a cub that looks like it's been messed yeah. with a little bit. Yeah, the Honda Cub. That's uh, that's obviously not an aerial product. That's that's my own machine that I take to the um, Isle of Man TT every year. Right, go in a van and just take it so that we can get around the island really. So it's got. Uh, custom built Odin shocks, the only set for a C90 in the world, I'm assured. Um, 160cc engine and obviously a whole host of other uh, improvements. And how fast have you had it? About 75 it'll do, so it's quite, quite hairy at that. Brilliant. We wanted a crossover, we wanted to revive one of the old names um, rather than sort of starting afresh because we're quite sort of patriotic so as well. Um, and obviously Ariel's great because it's got an A at the front so it's always first in all the listings. Back to the, the ACE itself, now I found out that really within the company there's only some one or two employees that work on, on these bikes uh, and when we got there sure enough there were two guys building, <laughs> building each one which was just amazing um, and so I got to kind of talk through what makes them special, obviously at the heart of this thing uh, is a Honda engine as with many uh, aerial products but you know that's nothing to worry about this is the like the 1200 cc lump that you get a big v4 lump from uh, the vfr 1200 bike but it's been kind of fettled so it sounds amazing um, and in that bike it feels amazing as well it's just the right amount of power and a great blend of, of like comfortable touring um, and crazy crazy performance when you want it to be um, so i have to admit like when i first 
approach the bike, it does look a bit intimidating. It's, it's, it's a big thing, you've got the frame, the, the tank is quite elongated, um, so it feels like you're going to be kind of lent over this tank to reach the bars, but not at all. It's, it's really, really comfortable. Um, and actually when I was being talked around the bike, everything is, is familiar. Um, the only slight change is that the buttons for the clocks are, are kind of down here on your left hand side. So there's a big red button that deals with the traction control, which is basically on or off. Um, I left it on, you know, just to, just in case. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's everything else is as you would find on a on a typical Honda bike. But fire it up, and there's this lovely deep exhaust note. Um, the clutch is is adjustable, so you can get that exactly how you want it. Uh, and then it was just a case of you know they gave me the keys and said head out on the local roads and go and enjoy yourself. So so I did. So what makes the the A so special? I think it's the it's the attention to detail that goes into to everyone. Um, I mean the frame alone, this aluminium frame that they've made, which is kind of the the heart of the bike, uh, and it's the first thing you notice when you when you walk up to it. And uh, this thing is the machine from from aluminium, and it takes about 70 hours just to produce each frame. Um, and that, like I say, forms the kind of backbone of the rest of this bike, which doesn't look like anything else really that, that money can buy. Um, so it's really nice to go and see that and see the kind of the, the guys working on each one. Um, the attention to detail on, on, on everyone is insane. Um, and obviously these things are produced in, in really low volume. So it's nice to go and just have a cup of tea with them and, and watch them putting them together. The bike that I actually rode is more of their kind of cruising touring spec, if you could call it that. So slightly more comfortable seating position, uh, more laid back handlebars, uh, and the, the girder forks, which are really interesting and very bespoke to this bike. Uh, and obviously they're, they're super modern, really comfortable, got all the, the high tech performance, but they, styling wise, they hark back to some of the original bikes that the area produced back in the day. Um, and I have to say they, are so comfortable, they do such a good job of soaking up the bumps. Um, they might look a bit odd, but it all really works extremely well together. What is the Ace like to ride? Well, I don't know, it's, it's a curious mix, that one, because it's obviously a very quick bike, and this one had a quick shifter um, spec on it, so you can stream through the gears um, like they're going out of fashion, uh, and it will pick up speed like a sports bike. Um, it doesn't quite handle like a sports bike, it's a little heavier to, to lean into corners. I mean, I'm, I'm no uh, MotoGP rider, but you can still feel that it, it's not quite as nimble to, to flick through those, those kind of B-road bends. But the beauty of it is that it kind of does the sports bike thing and the cruiser thing equally well, um, which is what I really liked about it. It's, it's definitely one of those bikes that you could do some serious mileage on uh, and not feel uncomfortable, but at the same time get to the traffic lights, pull up next to a to a to a little 600cc sports bike, and you'd be um, you'd be creaming it basically. Mm -hmm.